Hello everyone and welcome to the Morning Metaphysical Report. This report is for the week of September 21st to 27th, 2020. Uh, my name is Lysander Xanthus. I'm a clairvoyant psychic and your host today. So I'm here to share with you the astrological forecast for the week ahead, the weekly reading, and sort of a spiritual or joyfulness tip to keep in mind. And at the end of the show today, I do have a little announcement. So stay tuned. Uh, the show should not be too, too long today. Let's get right into it. Welcome. I hope you're all doing well today. All right. So let's take a look at the astrological forecast. Over the week ahead, it's dry in here. Um, is the fall equinox on Tuesday, the 22nd, at least uh, in my part of the world. And uh, so this is an important part of the year, kind of marking the changing of seasons and the energetic shift from summer into fall. So very exciting. And on that same day, the sun transitions into Libra. So we are leaving Virgo season and heading into Libra. And so with that, the sun brings its powerful energy of illumination and clarity into that sign. So for everyone, not just Libras, there will be a massive focus on our desire for harmony, beauty, cooperation with others and justice. And uh, there may also be an emphasis on feeling frustrated because of the lack of these things potentially in your own life and on a greater scale. Um, there, we will feel more inclined to seek balance and for a sense of like everyone winning or trying to make, oh, sorry, <laughs> lost my balance, um, make situations kind of okay for everyone. So that is the general influence ahead. Um, and so now let's kind of go through the week. On Monday, there's an aspect with Venus and Jupiter that has an influence of, there's a lot with our relationships going on astrologically this week. Uh, we, a, there's an influence that things may be more dramatic and that we may strongly identify with our relationships. And this may impact your forward advancement, especially in money, finances, success, or work. So be mindful of how your attachments to others may possibly be inhibiting other areas of your life. On Wednesday, we have an aspect with Mercury and Saturn. Um, we may possibly be too accommodating or make excuses for a lack of integrity in ourselves or lack of integrity in others. Sometimes uh, justifying it so much to ourselves that we don't even see how we or other people are not being true to ourselves or to our principles. And uh, there's an aspect with Venus and Neptune on Wednesday as well, where our With Neptune, our illusions and any deceptions in our relationships are being dispelled, and this may be especially uh, dramatic. Our pride can potentially like free us, where if we don't, if we decide that we deserve better, or it can trap us if we feel like kind of coming to terms with some of our associations reflects badly on us in some way. On Thursday, Mercury and Mars are in opposition. And so we may be struggling to balance ourselves, find balance within ourselves and in our lives. Uh, and it's a struggle because we're kind of having a lots of our own energy and emotions kind of thrown in our face. So uh, that will be challenging, but it can also encourage us to learn a lot about ourselves and make significant progress at the same time. On Saturday, Venus and Pluto aspect each other, so there's going to be a lot of shedding and transformation 
within ourselves, but also in our relationships, not just your romantic, but all relationships. And on Sunday, Mercury moves from Libra into Scorpio. So over this next period, when it comes to our mind, how we think, our intellect, how we express ourselves in communications with others, uh, this, all those things are moving into a deeply emotionally intense space. Um, communications may be transformative. We will be especially perceptive. And there is an opportunity to kind of empower ourselves in our communications with others and in how we express ourselves. So I feel that that's pretty good. So there's some turbulent energy this week, but as always, it brings ample opportunity for advanced growth and to create advanced change in our lives. So that concludes the astrological forecast. And next, I would like to share with you the reading of the week. So the reading of the week is guidance for everyone watching this. And the reading comes to you from the Wisdom of Avalon Oracle Cards this week. This is intended to provide insight and guidance into you again. So we got a card pretty readily. So it's just one card this time, and it's the cat. And the cat concerns uh, a focus on independence and healthy boundaries. I feel inclined to read the book this week to allow everyone to resonate with the parts of the message that are relevant for them. But those are the overall themes, healthy boundaries. The cat reminds you of independence and to set healthy boundaries. Love with freedom. Do not look to own what you desire for too much attachment can lead to loss. The cat lends you its power to live freely and to remember that the adventure is just beginning. Don't forget that the cat has nine lives and always lands on its feet. It manages to get up unscathed from a fall, no matter what happens. On this leg of your journey, you will emerge safe and sound, live freely, love without unhealthy attachment, and remember that with the cat as your companion, you may fully immerse yourself in life where there will be many more lives to come. It can be uh, good to remember to take time to be present in our own lives as well. Um, because it's only in this present moment that we can really connect to joy and to the positive things that uh, are available in life. And that's even more important when we are struggling. So that's the reading of the week. Uh, finally, what I would like to share with you all is it's sort of like a positive thought to keep in mind for the week ahead. Um, I'll kind of add to the thought. I'm going to be drawing a card from the, wow, oh, this box is really shiny. The Super Attractor Oracle deck. And so it's basically a deck of affirmations to assist with law of attraction and manifesting. So uh, again, this is a collective message for the collective for all of you. Um, I'll also take a moment to say hello to everyone. Good morning, Brent, Jasmine, Amber, and everyone else watching. I'm doing well. I hope you are well also. Hopefully, I get a card out of here somewhat quickly. All right. So we actually got a few cards, so I'm going to go ahead and read all of them. They're very orange pink, well, most of them. So, I trust that my powerful intentions combined with my faith are enough to allow my vision to become my reality. I'm in awe of the magnificent guidance that's available to me. Spiritual alignment puts my manifestation into motion. When I'm in a state of appreciation, I'm in vibrational alignment with my true love nature. So 
So not only are those some nice sentiments, but this is sort of the focus for the week ahead. So we'll take a look at them one at a time. Slats. There we go. Just had to shift the focus a bit. I trust that my powerful intentions combined with my faith are enough to allow my vision to become my reality. Faith is kind of a, a tricky thing for a lot of people to intuit. It is a struggle and constant work. Um, and having trust in oneself and one's own power as well as in the universe is very powerful when you are able to reach for that. So that I find that is a good focus for us at this time. And that's followed with, I'm in awe of the magnificent guidance that's available to me. Taking a moment to not only be in tune with the universe, but to appreciate that connection and uh, the guidance you are able to receive. Uh, we don't actually take that much time to tune into our instinctual self and um, to listen to ourselves or anything else. Um, and it can be, again, profound when we're able to be in that space. This is followed with spiritual alignment puts my manifestation into motion. Something I find interesting to think about is for you to contemplate for yourself, what does it mean to you to be spiritually aligned? Do you know, like, what does that feel like for you and what does that mean for you? What kind of space are you living in? Um, how are you going about your day? And trying to find that place for ourselves. And it does indeed kind of set off a reaction for life. It can sound pretty incredible, but I have experienced it for myself. And we end with, when I'm in a state of appreciation, I'm in vibrational alignment with my true love and nature. Um, we talk about being grateful a lot, but sometimes it can kind of help clarify things to just switch words a little, even though appreciation means almost the same thing. So taking time to appreciate things can really help shift you when other positive emotions are hard to reach for, and it can help you move into a space of love just by appreciating anything, no matter how small, around you, and start shifting you into a better place in manifestation. So let's move this back a little. All right. So, that concludes the morning metaphysical physical report. And now I would like to take a moment to make a little announcement. Um, <laughs> sorry, how to hear on my face. So, this is going to be the last morning report. Um, I might do a video next week to further conclude this project. It's almost been a full year doing this and I have learned a lot about the kind of content that um, helps people that you've all responded to. And I am working on future projects for future shows or content. Um, my partner and I don't have the time and resources to make uh, the morning report all that it needs to be to meet its potential at this time. So um, we've decided to conclude it at this point. And I'd like to take a moment to thank all of our patrons on Patreon. I will be messaging all of you um, with details about what's next. And um, also, I would encourage you all, if you're interested, to check out my YouTube channel, which is under my name, Lysander Xanthus, or Lysander Clairvoyant. She can't remember the point. I'll be posting about it on my page as well. Um, all of the exclusive patron-only content that was on the Patreon will be available publicly for free on YouTube. So you'll be able to find uh, all kinds of videos such as reading tutorials, um, ghost investigations, um, a manifestation seminar, and uh, lots of other things. So 
uh, a first thank you to everyone who's joined me on this journey. And I'll be posting more about this on my page and elsewhere. Uh, I hope you'll have a wonderful week and I will see you again very soon. Be blessed.